Right, hello. It's been it's been ages. Um, I haven't done a video in like forever because uh, well, the world's been on fire, isn't it? Uh, as you can see, I'm in a plane. I thought I don't know. As I say, I've not I've not done any content. I've not done anything worth talking about. But you know, this game came out, and I thought, why not go for a little wander around? The local area and talk about some things uh, maybe introduce you to Portsmouth if you've never been uh, Gosport as well which is where I've been furloughed I mean I haven't actually been over to Portsmouth since this whole thing kicked off which was like March uh, March I think week 13 wasn't it and we're into week like for, I don't know five months or something so yeah go over there see uh as you uh, anybody who's just listening to this and can't be asked about video games i'm just playing a game called microsoft um uh, um flight simulator uh, i'm clearly a fucking boomer noob doesn't know what he's doing uh but i managed to get this working it's not the great uh quality it's a bit minecrafty at times but it might be nice to like, have a wander around talk about some things see how you've all been um, I mean, normally I do like, uh, like the, the reviews, the, uh, the liquor reviews, wouldn't I? But I just can't be asked. I have had a gin and tonic, so I'm not entirely sober to drive this plane. Drive, fly, fly this plane. I don't know what this plane's called. It's yellow. Um, but anyway, what we're doing now is we are flying over, um, this is the Gosport bit. Um, and looks lovely from the air, doesn't it? So let me, I'm not going to show you where I live because um, I'd rather drink myself to death than be killed by some nutter on fucking YouTube. But there's some lovely places. We're just flying over the allotments there. My mum used to have an allotment there. Um, there's some lovely places here and, you know, there's some assholes who just run up to you and punch you in the face. Now, let's see, where should we start from? Where we were coming from just then was Leon Solent. There's an airfield there. You see those things in the distance? That's uh, like uh, fuel storage. But I think they're turning them into some kind of... Uh, it's like the gentrification of Gosport. So they're turning them into flats or something. And you'll see that kind of gentrification. Gentrification thing, Goosia. Just around here. Uh, if I can try not to crash. And I'll show you. Um, this is... On your left, you've got the college. Um, but around here is a great place to take dog for a walk. Really good place to take dog for a walk. And beneath there is where all the kids hang out. And they throw their bottles on the ground until the glass breaks. And everybody else leaves their dog shit all around. I mean, that's not just during COVID. That's just any other fucking day. So, yeah, we're really doing... Uh, we're really, oh, fucking hell, we're really doing gospel here, aren't we? I've not really played this game much because I've tried, been learning to fly. The first couple of times I tried flying, um, I d did a fucking Pearl Harbor on some dog walkers on Lee on the Solent Beach. And... Um, I just thought it'd be nice and calming for myself as well, because, you know, fucking, oh, this whole thing. I mean, it's been a nightmare, isn't it? Um, you see that? That's supposed to be a bridge. It hasn't rendered very well, but there's a, a really nice bridge there. You take the dog for a walk around here. This is the gen genuflect, gen fuck, gen gentrified place that I was telling you about. It used to be um, quarters for, um, like, sailors and all sorts. But now you've got some very nice looking uh, places to live. Uh, you've got a couple of bars uh, and all that. Not as much as I think they wanted. Uh, they, I think, yeah, just about here. If you're, they wanted a supermarket just down there, it's still a bit boarded up. My dog loves shitting there, actually. Um, but, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, got distracted thinking about the dog. Uh, but, yeah, completely... Uh, gentrified and turned into, as I say, lovely homes. Fit very posh. It's a bit. It's it's like a lot of gospel. Like twenty years ago, it was real rough. Because I'm not originally from here. Um, I was, uh, you know, born and brought up in Portsmouth, which is over the water. So, 
let me just show you ah jesus christ this plane where are we i think that's aldi down there isn't it yeah these are the, the the big fucking block of flats that you'll see that's just england for well uh sorry um britain for you but yeah that's um basically gosport now over the water here you've got the harbor um the um what's it called the dockyard this is the uh oh my god that's terrible we'll come back to so this is the the royal navy dockyard with all the boats and that um my dad actually used to work here he drove a crane operated a crane that was his thing um you can see a few boats here a little bit further up here you've got the ferry port the portsmouth ferry port and uh, I used to work there actually, I used to do the boats to France and a few times to Spain. Didn't do it for long, a few months, it was a bit... I mean you can't drink and you got to like jump into the water and save people. And then you drown during the fucking uh, training for the um, um, safety at sea, it was a nightmare. So I'm a dry land person but you know I did a few hundred crossings, it was fine. That oval down there, that's where they keep the Mary Rose. And that other bit just there, that's the victory. It hasn't rendered very well. This directly in front of you, that's the Warrior, HMS Warrior, first ironclad battleship and all that. This is the Spinnaker Tower, Millennium Tower, that wasn't actually built in time for the Millennium. Uh, talking earlier about the gentrification of, of Gosport, you know, the old um, the old bits up there uh, where the... Um, um, you know, where the sailors and uh, servicemen and women lived, families and that. Now, that's kind of what's been going on uh, with Gunwolf. Uh, I think there was more kind of storage for military bits and pieces and that. Um, so all this is very posh, very expensive houses, shit, nearly crashed. Um, just up as far as this lipstick. And you've still got... Um, oh, this plane, it's... I shouldn't have done this in a Boeing 747. I should have done this in a Boeing 747. Anyway, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, that's basically that bit. I mean, that's all kind of very new Portsmouth. That's not what I grew up with. This is literally old Portsmouth, as they call it. Uh, very nice, fancy. Well, not fancy. It's just like, it's just nice and cozy. There's a couple of nice pubs there. I don't know how rough it gets at night. Probably, probably not as bad as it used to be. You see that down there, that white thing to the right, that is the Isle of Wight ferry, goes over to the Isle of Wight. Very nice over there, very nice summers over there as a kid. Um, you got a load of yachts and crap and all that. Now you see that down there, that church that doesn't look like it's got a roof, that's because the Germans came over here in the 40s and dropped a bomb on the church. Thanks Hitler, uh, didn't go off. Um, and yeah, they kept it like that. Um, we're on the South Sea, we're on the, uh, the pff, can't speak, we're on the seafront now. That's the cenotaph that is for the, um, for the dead, um, memorial for the men and the soldiers of, um, World War One and, uh, World War Two, but World War One, I think, is there as well. And that might be on the Palmerston Road. That's South Sea Castle, that's where Henry VIII watched. The Mary Rose sink from. We are just coming up on South Bray Pier. It hasn't rendered perfectly well. I'm not. I'm you know, I'm not great at the computers, and this isn't a great computer, but it's decent enough to show you what's going on. Although I don't think a lot of the stuff is rendered perfectly, because uh, it doesn't have the data on Bing yet. Down there, that's Baffin's Pond. Is it Baffin's Pond or Canoe Lake? I'm getting confused with the other one. It's Canoe Lake. Got the, got the canoes. Oh fuck! I don't know. Anyway, going back for another pass. Um, yeah, this is South Sea around here. Uh, this is the pyramids. Uh, basically, opened up in I think the early nineties, late eighties. It's a swim, a bunch of swimming pools, but uh, they've also got a venue there. There's like a nightclub for the old people. Well, when I was old, when I was young, it was old people. Uh, but saw a few bands there, saw Terrorvision there, had an asthma attack. Who else did I see there? Levelers? Was the Levelers Guildhall? I don't know. I'm trying to concentrate on flying, not crashing and land. Uh, oh, hang on. Here we've got uh, Clarence Pier. 
uh, so where all the fruities are, all the fruit machines and all that. That thing that looks like a castle though is actually a uh, what's it called? Roller coaster. And I remember when I was a kid, we heard that like two of the cars had like ran off the rails and into the sea. And I was always terrified of going on it. Went on it, didn't die. Uh, right down here we're just coming up to there's a big hotel down there you've got Palmston Road up here which is uh, there's you know there is Palmston Road just right down to the bottom oh, fucking, don't crash which would mean we are coming there's a church down there and if you look to your right that's my old school oh it is as well they got the playground as well fuck I nearly crashed um, when they bring out helicopters for this I'm going to have to go and land in the playground but, uh, oh God, Portsmouth. <sighs> um, yeah. I mean, as I say, I haven't been over here since fucking beginning of the year. But Gospel and Portsmouth, it's basically the same. It's just separated by a bit of water. You've got the ferry that goes over. Um, people haven't been kicking off and going in completely mad. Um, you know, we haven't been rioting in the streets. We've had some demonstrations and that. People aren't too happy about the things, but, you know, mainly the big kickoffs have been, you know, in the big cities. Um, the, yeah, the mask thing. Fuck, where do you go about that? Some people are wearing them. Some people don't want to wear them. Some people, hang on, I fucking know. My mouth's going very dry from all the talking. Let me just have a little drink of gin. I don't know what this is, this is going to sound like to anybody just listening uh, who hasn't got the actual visuals, uh, but I'm basically a plane flying around um, like Google Maps, but it's 3D. It's basically that. And I've had a drink. And why am I doing this? Well, you know... I'm going mad and we're all going mad and as I say it feels bad to talk about things that are happening in Portsmouth like oh god you know um, you know people can't agree as to whether it's a good thing about going back to school in September and then you look at what's happening in America um, and that's just the English language stuff you could look there's a very weird sound happening hang on Sounds like the wind's blowing. So distracting, fuck's sake. What? <sighs> fuck. Well, that's horrible. I can't edit that out now. Anyway, yeah, it, I mean, because I did feel like I had like a little plan of maybe some bullet points of, because I've done a couple of videos before where I just rant about the current state of the world and that. And. I mean, I'm still working on the third book. I mean, it's uh, that's not coming out anytime soon because it's just a bit kind of mad. Um, and I've still got the editing stuff I do for Dave and that. But, I mean... It's, for, it's fucking guys on scooters, isn't it? It's fucking little cunts. It's like, what is it with people... I don't know the people around here, people fucking, they got their little fucking scoots, me, me, go around them, and then they get a bit older, and then they get a fucking Ford Focus, and they put an aftermarket exhaust in it, they got a massive fucking spoiler, they put all these fucking decals on the side, and, you know, they use it as their daily driver. A fucking race car, fucking track car, and, oh, I'm just going down the, just going down Little Love, do you want anything? <laughs> Like, for fuck's sake. And then you got the cunt with the ice cream van. That fucking O Solo Mio. But it's like this cacophonous fuck. It breaks the, you know, the sound. It just, you can't hear anything. It's just like somebody bashing on a bell. It's a nightmare. I fucking, suburbia. Suburbia is fucking louder than any city I ever lived in. I mean, I used to live, I can show you just around here. Um... Last place I lived in Portsmouth was just down here, Albert, uh, well, just off Albert Road. And it looks different from the air. 
Um, but yeah, it's around here somewhere, just off Albert Road. Um, wasn't loud. There was a few crazy people carrying the community. You know, they should be in. A, they should be getting help, but they're just out there shouting at people and being crazy and fucking in relationships. But round here in suburbia, over in Gospel, fucking hell, they never shut up. And that's one of the good things, I suppose, about, you know, lockdown, you know, don't go and, you know, hang out with people you don't know and, you know, only family members together. But what the cunts do is they just stand out in their front garden, just chatting, just loud enough to be annoying. <coughs> Excuse me. But not loud enough for you to actually hear what's going on. <coughs> oh, that's, that's so rude of me to be <coughs> burping like that. Very sorry. I'll probably edit it out. I probably won't send it. Yeah. This is why. You, this is why you shouldn't drink and fly. But um. Yeah, it's fucking the the just the fucking noise. I and I. I, I don't know. Maybe. I like to say, oh, I always complain, oh, that's why I don't have kids, you know, that's why I don't like kids, but, you know, I meet my friend's kids, and we get along, you know, play with Lego, play a game and everything, everyone's, everything's fine, but then you get the cunts who, they just grow up a bit, and they start throwing bottles around and causing mayhem, start bothering the old, you know, the elderly, like me, that happens, and, um, especially during this pandemic thing and you think why are you all hanging out in a massive group not wearing masks i mean you could say maybe the mask thing is you know we shouldn't be doing it. maybe we should have gone the way of sweden and just everybody just fucking get in a big orgy kill off grandma and we'll be fine don't know i mean america you know they're all wearing masks but then they're also all shooting each other so that's double-edged sword really isn't it I don't know. Anyway, I'm fucking babbling. I was supposed to be showing you around Portsmouth. Um, well, the first place that anyone goes to in a... That fucking car is really annoying me now. You can't hear it. You can't even... Because I've got this microphone that only picks up what's happening in front of it. So I'm pretty sure you can't hear it. Right. So that, of course, is the Spinnaker Tower. I think I've already said that. Um, and if you come up from here, you got the rain, the main train station just there. And then that leads, that goes off to Portsmouth and South Sea, which is up here. You've got a lot of university stuff around here. Um, you know, playing fields and that. So just here is the Guild Hall. Uh, saw the levelers there. That was great. Uh, civic offices just there. And to your left. Do you have, uh, that's the post office just down there to your right. And then I'm flying basically over Commercial Road. Oh, fuck. Uh, Commercial Road is the main shopping centre. Um, now, there used to be uh, Sainsbury's there on the left. Used to be a, um, that big empty field there used to be the Canon Cinema. And it's been like that for like 20 years. They never put anything there. They just keep getting rid of the cinemas and not putting them back. Same thing happened in Gospel. Used to have the Ritz down there. Got rid of it. What's there now? Um, I can't remember. I think it's the Job Centre in Iceland. So if you want to go and see a film, like, you know, you want to go and see Tenet or something, got to go and get on the fucking boat to Gospel. Uh, sorry, to Portsmouth. And I don't want to get on the fucking boat. It's bad enough I've got to go and sit in the fucking cinema. Just want to see Tenet, don't I? So, where are we now? We're heading back um, into the dockyard. Of course, I, I, ca I can't pause and show you things because it's a fucking aeroplane. Um, I can take you back along up here. I'll tell you what, that thing there, that's that big island. Well, that big island, that island there, that's called Whale Island. The ferry that's in front of us looks like a Brittany ferry. Yeah, it is, but look. By the livery, it's Brittany Ferries. Um, there's two of them there. Hey, hello, Brittany Ferries. This is Whale Island. That's where I did my fire training for the working on the boats. Royal Mail fire, fire training. Fire training. Putting out. Can you believe somebody gave me a fucking extinguisher 
and said, put out that fire. <laughs> Fucking <clears throat> balls for gin. Now, <clears throat> this is when it starts getting very packed. I heard somewhere that Portsmouth is like the most, well, one of the most densely populated countries in Europe. I think the other one was in like Eastern Europe somewhere. Um, there was massive damage um, after the war. Well, sorry, during the war, of course, uh, because we have the harbour, uh, the dockyards right next to us, and it being the closest dockyards, British dockyards to Germany, fucking, you know, they they did what they did. Um, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I'm sure. Although I think I think we're 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 kind of approaching the same amount of people killed by COVID as were killed as civilians were killed um by the Luftwaffe uh during the war. But I could be wrong, I haven't looked up about that. Now let me get my bearings and I'll try and show you where I'm from. I think we're a bit north well, I know we're a bit north, but I think I can kind of get back there. Now, let's have a look. What's all this then? Oh, there's the train tracks, right. If we go along the train tracks, we're going to go past my nan's house. Um, now, what's that bridge? Is that Burfield's Bridge? I think that was Burfield's Bridge. That could be the White Stone Bridge. Yeah, fucking know it is as well. Look at that. So you went past my nan's house. I mean, my nan's passed now. And I don't actually have any family left in the in the city. I mean, there's a whole long fucking story about that. I could talk to you for hours. Um, but yeah. He paused to drink. But yeah, when we were kids, um, I used to live basically somewhere around here. Let me get my bearings, hang on. Da, 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 da. I think I just flew over it. Yeah, this is... See, I keep getting them confused. Baffin's Pond or Canoe Lake. Canoe Lake is the one down South Sea, isn't it? Canoe Lake is where you can go and get on the little juggalos with the, the swan shaped things and pedal the pedaloos. And this place is where I used to go as a kid. There was a library next door, so it was like double whammy. I used to go to the library, get my books, and uh, feed the feed the ducks. I had these big Canada geese that would like take your fucking arm off. So I think I might be able to slow this plane down a bit. I'm like press the wrong button and fucking eject or something. Hang on. Oh, there we go. I believe I'm slowing down. So that is there. So if we go right a bit, what we need to look for is a money fields club. Am I in the right place? Or am I losing it completely? Because we're on the east part now. Is this like the eastern road coming up here? You got like six form college and that. I think there's that looks like a golf course I don't think it is never used to be because up there you got the hospital now I think let me see yeah that looks like Tangiers Road up there so that would make my old house about here if this was the Enola Gay and this was 40 years ago, nah, maybe 30. Yeah, and that was the, I just saw it there, the allotments down at the end. Remember a girl that used, um, it was like a load of like local kids, and she was like, can you save that grass snake? Now, what did she call it? The grass snake. But it wasn't a grass snake. It was a, well, I thought it was a snake, and I was really brave to try and impress her. And it ended up being like a worm. And she was like, oh, thank you, you're so brave. I was like, but it's, oh, yeah, I am, totally. But that was, of course, before, you know, the whole puberty, so 
didn't matter. Yeah, I used to be quite the Lafario. Right, where are we now? Lafario, that's the wrong word. I don't know what I'm saying. See, I'm fucking lost. Ah, this is why. This is why you don't cabin staff. If you're a stewardess, sorry. If you're cabin staff, don't give the pilot alcohol. So if we get this fucking landmarks, you know where we are here. Pompeii, Pompeii, Front Park. Oi, oi, yeah. See, that's how much I know about football. Because I could have like done any number of chants then. Play up, Pompeii. There we go. Blue Army. Blue Army. That's what they say, isn't it? Here we go. See, I'm not. I'm not a pretender. Blue Army. You fucking cunts. You want it? Oh fuck you, fucking yeah, you cunts. Anyway, that that whole grave thing there. That's that's like a, there's a KFC there now. So this is a very old data. This must be from like six, seven years, eight years ago. Because there's basically a B and Q. It's not a B and Q. It's like the cut price B and Q. Um, KFC and there's a big Tesco's. You know, like a super duper Tesco's with the car park underneath. Um, I mean that's basically Disneyland for Pompey. So what else can we talk about about Pompey? I've shown you the school, kinda. Maybe have a bit of a dip around there. I suppose we'd go to Hailing Island. I mean, it looks really nice from the air, doesn't it? I suppose. I suppose that sounds more poetic in German. I've shown you down the front. What else we got? This curvy road. Is that Albert Road? Are we going down Albert Road? No, no, we're a bit far down for Albert Road. Um, this that's the thing. Portsmouth's got some. It's it is nice, but it's also not nice. It just really depends on what kind of a mood you get it. No, that was Albert Road. We're coming up on the cemetery here. Big old cemetery, really nice to walk around. You've got a good chip shop just immediately below me. Um, yeah, it's a really calm, really nice, calming kind of dog walker kind of cemetery. Go there, and I mean, I've got I've walked these streets fucking up and down. It's it's a nice town to walk in, but it's just very very crowded, and a lot of people kind of get a bit kind of bullshy and angry and. You know, it's the kind of place you'll walk along and if somebody's had a bad day, they'll punch you in the face. It's happened to me a few times. Well, when I was a kid, mainly, by other kids. So I like grown-ups going and punching children. But, um, you know, I think this is all caravan parks here. But we're headed, this up here is Hailing Island. So um, I think last time I went there, I cycled up here with my uncle. Uh, just got the ferry over. So yeah, you can see it's not quite as rendered. Hailing Island is, uh, there's not a great deal going on there as far as I know. I mean, it's, it's nice, nice, I guess. I don't remember it being this grassy. What's going on? Am I lying? Have I taken you in the wrong way? Please don't crash. No. That's weird. There, there are buildings there. Oh, I just got us lost. No, that's definitely Portsmouth there. So maybe it's because the the ferry goes across from there on the left, and so I'm used to seeing buildings, and I didn't realise. Oh yeah, because up here, this you got the fair and all that, and you got the buildings and. I haven't gone actually further into it. Because up there you're going to go up and you've got like Chichester and all that. But Ooh, Jesus. I'm saying that because don't forget I'm flying a plane. If I say weird things and take deep in takes a breath, it's because I nearly crashed into a tree. So, yeah, you got... There's like estates around here... Um, Oh, that's that's not uh, that's that's not caravans. That's boats. They got one of those massive boat 
marina things, you know, where they all stack them on top of each other. Um, it's really nice uh, to come here for a drive, bag of chips and that, sit out there, have a drink or whatever, ride your bike, drive your car, fly your plane, it's all good. And where are we? That was hailing on showing you Gosport. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably stopped recording like half an hour ago. We could try for one more go at the school. I suppose no what we should do is actually show you the north of the city. Oh, I can't believe I was burping earlier in the video, that's really rude. Oh, God. Right. So you need some landmarks, so I think, what was that? I haven't got the camera things, I still don't know what I'm doing with this fucking game. Ah, Jesus. It's all the wrong way around. Don't stall, don't stall. Yeah, I might have mentioned earlier I didn't put the sound on because that would be really annoying for anybody just listening. So I think, if, that, if I remember rightly, that's a bit of like a jetty thing going on where you can... Um, nope, it isn't. No, it's a bit further up. Oh, look at that quality. Jesus Christ. I think... My internet might be going... So that is, that does look like um, caravans, doesn't it? I say, because I, I mean, I I haven't been there in a year, but I, I didn't live there. Basically, I lived in Portsmouth, fuck, like a year or two in 20 years. I mean, I'm from there, but I went to other places. And when I came back, it was to see my mum in... And Gosport, which is over the water, and there has been some family here and there, but you know, either don't keep in touch or they they um go abroad or or they have been abroad or this you know, not going to go not going to go into all that now. I right, stop burping. So. Apparently there's a setting where you can be a drone and just fly around at your own like leisure and see like exactly what you want to see but the trouble with that is I wouldn't be in a plane and I thought this would be comic somehow even if it isn't I mean as I say ah fuck what the fuck what's going on there See, I messed up. The minute I started pressing, pressing the right analog stick. See, now I'm lost. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, I know where that is. Right, okay. There's nothing of interest over here. Just some factories I used to work at. Uh, this is the college. Uh, hybrid college down there. Um... This is the, I mean, it's an island, so that little thing that you got that there's some lovely walks you can have around here. Uh, it's really nice nature in Bournemouth here and there around, well, around the edges, basically. Um, that there, that's Hillsy Lido. So where that's just for people who know. <laughs> that used to be the IBM building down there, but now it's fucking social security. Uh, we're coming into caution now. Good old caution. See if we can get to... Because I used to have a mate... Uh, well, several mates, I guess. Um, up in Waterlooville, so maybe we can get that far. Um, what we got there? Oh, this is QA. This is the hospital. I believe. Yeah, that's the QA, that's the hospital. I think they've done it up a little bit since the last was there. 
And if you go by QA, we used to cycle up the hill actually, up Portsdown Hill. Because if you look on Portsdown Hill, fucking don't stall, don't stall. Oh, Jesus. Um, you got Portsdown Hill, which, which, which is very high. Uh, it's like a chalky hill. And you've got um, forts there. And I'm wondering if that's what's happened with the rendering there. Because that's not something that exists on Portsdown Hill. Because you've got like a nice museum up here as well. Can't exactly pinpoint where. But you've got um, a couple of basically brownstone forts with cannons outside. It's what they used to have back in the days of the French and all that. Um, thank God they're not here anymore. Um, I don't think they were used too much against the Germans. That's what we had anti-aircraft for. Uh, there's big radar station up here, you know, just in case the Russians come. But uh, down there, that, that's that been rendered as some kind of hotel. I mean, as I say, I haven't been there in a year or so. So maybe that's what it looks like now. But I don't think it is. I think that's just, that is the, th the fort. The fort. So now where, where are we? Right. Hang on, we're getting out. We're getting out to the sticks now. Getting out to the bush, mate. Get your fucking plane back. Come on, mate. Fly. Fly, you cunt. Come on, mate. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> right. If you go along there, you can get into Gosport very easily. And then a bit further up, Botley, Southampton, Loxleaf, all that. And you've got olive shit. Flowers and trees here. Hey, do you want to go that far? I think this video has been enough, hasn't it? It was all about showing you Portsmouth, really, wasn't it? I mean, what else have you got? You've got Pools Grove up here. Pools Grove is one of those places that's been in the news a lot because, you know, it's rough as fuck. I did charity collecting around Pools Grove. Uh, for an animal charity, just door to door. Oh, hello. Um, have you heard about the plight of the of the Dalmatians? Like <laughs> fucking no. You can, uh, I'm not. Just use your imagination. There's that fucking noise again. Some cunt's revving his little his little scooter. Meow, meow, meow. Thinks he's all that. There's a fucking cunt's down by. Gospel, that, uh, you know, people walking their dog and all that. Just ordinary people. It's not posh. It's not. It's just working class area. You know, people go and walking their dogs and that. And what they do, they steal a bike and then they try and set fire to it. Uh, you know, and it's all broken apart and pieces smoking and that. I mean, I wasn't there when it was on fire. I found it the next morning, but um, fucking, you know, kids, kids are there playing around. Dogs are there. I wrote to the council. I even went on, to, because now the police are basically on Twitter, so I was on Twitter going, Hello, do, have you have you seen this? This is preposterous. A burnt out motorcycle on the lawn? Like, fuck, you know. Like, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm an old man now. I'm literally writing to the police saying, the Young scalwallians, what are they doing? I was never like that as a child. And of course I fucking was. And of course there were adults who fucking stood up to me and held me to account. But it's just weird that I happen to be that kind of adult now that has to like tell kids to basically fuck off and stop throwing rubbish at you in the park. That was another... Oh, don't even get me started. So anyway, do you know? remember where we are? Okay, two points. What are that? What's that called in front of us? That's right, Brittany Ferries. So we're just passing over that. I didn't actually work on Brittany Ferries. I worked on P&O. But the P&O ferries that uh, they were the Pride of Portsmouth and the Pride of La Havre, the Pride of Cherbourg, I think they've all been sold. I know these the sister ships, the Pride of La Havre and the Pride of Portsmouth, were sold to a shipping company in Greece, I believe. I'm not sure about the Pride of Cherbourg, uh, but this was this was long before COVID. It was just um, um, the crossings just went you know to different things. The Prado Bilbao, um, Bilbao in, in France, uh, for fuck's sake, in S Spain, thank you, 
Um, I did a couple of cruises to that, like three day cruises. Um, that was quite a fun ship to work on because you got the Spanish and the Spanish are lovely people to work with. Um, much prefer them to the English. <laughs> I know that's a bit racist to say, but you know, I don't know. They're just more, they've got more the joy de vivre or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think P&O is going around anymore. So we're over old ports. So if you see all that blank stuff, that's actually uh, what I was talking about before. Um, the blank stuff on the ground, I mean. Um, it's uh, They've got the stacks of boats going on there. If that makes sense. You know, you double deck, you park your boat for like, so you have like yachts full deep. And there's some fancy um, yacht designer thing as well. That building just just there some kind of building designing thing building designing yacht designing like a multitask um yeah you get the ramparts here coming back up on the what's it called Clarence beer it kind of looks like a fair from that angle okay I don't know where to end this have, have I shown you Portsmouth? I mean, you saw Commercial Road. I mean, the one thing I suppose you didn't see was the tricorn. That's one thing that they should do, bring the tricorn back. Because it was this very garish, brutalist, concrete monstrosity that was built in the 70s. A basically, car park and shopping centre. And I kind of liked it, but it went into disrepair and it was kind of almost universally hated. Um, and they demolished it, but they didn't put anything in its place. It was just an empty car park. Well, what they should have done is is treated it as a listed building and refurbished it. Um, you know, it was it was a place for delinquents and drug addicts and up the alleyway sex and dodgy bars and that. Yeah, but put a lick of paint on there and it'd be fine. So what's this up here? Well, oh, this is we're back at a. Back commercial road. I think that we've done that. Yeah, there we are. So this used to be the tricorn. But now it's just some fucking dipshit. Just put a fucking... Pave paradise and put up a parking lot. That's basically what he did. Or she. Who knows? Fuck it. I think... Should we say that's it? Yeah. Oh no, I know what I should do. Let's land somewhere. Oh fuck, what have I done? I've stalled. Oh no. No, I didn't mean to do this. Stop it. Stop it. Fuck's sake. It's like a stump plane. I can't control the camera. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, fuck. Alright, here we are. Hang on. Let me turn that around. If I... If I just... If I... If we can land it... Where are we? At this speed, I can probably land a commercial road. Or we'll land on the tricorn thing. Let's slow it down a bit. No, fuck it. That was the wrong button. Press the wrong button. Come on. Come on, you can. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That oh, was shit. Too slow. Well, I'm dead. Hang on. We can come back for another pass. Turn the engine back on. Come on. Come on. Be the wind in my wings, baby. Come on. Don't, 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 no. No, we're not crashing into a church. Nobody steps on the crash. Fuck, the fuck done that. Nobody steps on a church in my town. Come on. Come on, fly, you bastard. Turn around. Come on. Here we go, second try. This is Charlotte Street. They used to have a lot of markets around here. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, you've overflown it. Ah, oh, fuck. 